It's perhaps not surprising that Italy is home to some of the world's wealthiest people in a country known for its exuberant luxury, which includes high-end Milanese fashion, traditional cuisine, and Tuscan wine, among other things. Many of the names in this video had to work extremely hard to reach the top. According to what you will see, these billionaires and business tycoons come from a variety of different backgrounds and have achieved success in industries ranging from confectionery to eyewear to designer goods. So if you're curious about who has amassed the largest fortune, take a look at this video to learn more about the top 10 wealthiest Italians in the world. Number 1. The wealthiest billionaire in Italy is Giovanni Ferrero on behalf of his family's namesake confections company, Giovanni Ferrero serves as executive chairman. The company had generated nearly $15 billion in sales in 2020. Nutella chocolate hazelnut spread, Kinder chocolates, and Tic Tac mints are some of the most well-known products produced by the company. Giovanni Ferrero served as co-CEO with his brother Pietro who passed away in 2011 after suffering a heart attack. In 2017, he stepped down as CEO but continued to serve as executive chairman, allowing him to devote more time to corporate strategy. In January 2018, he completed the acquisition of Nestle's entire confections business in the United States for $2 billion. He has a fortune of $33.6 billion. Leonardo Del Vecchio is Italy's second richest billionaire. The Italian entrepreneur Leonardo Del Vecchio founded the eyewear giant Luxottica in 1961 when he was just 25 years old. Luxottica has grown over the years, acquiring Sunglass Hut, Ray-Ban, and Oakley, and has expanded to produce glasses for virtually every brand, including Bulgari and Chanel, among others. Luxottica and French lens manufacturer Essilor completed their merger in 2018, resulting in the world's largest producer and retailer of sunglasses and prescription glasses. Del Vecchio was placed in an orphanage when he was 7 years old because his widowed mother couldn't afford to support her five children on her own. He began working as an apprentice at the age of 14 in a car and eyewear parts factory to fund his design school education before striking out on his own a decade later. He has a fortune of $31.4 billion in assets. Stefano Piscina is Italy's third richest billionaire. Stefano Piscina is the CEO of Walgreens Boots Alliance, the world's largest drugstore corporation. Pacina's journey began in 1977 when he assumed control of his family's pharmaceutical wholesaler in Naples, Italy, which was later renamed Alliance Sante or Hospital Alliance. He eventually expanded his business beyond Italy, merging his wholesaler with the Unichem Group in 1997 and the Boots Group the following year. A year later, Pessina sold Alliance Boots to private equity firm KKR for a deal valued at $22 billion. Between 2012 and 2014, Walgreens purchased the entirety of its pharmacy chain, resulting in the formation of Walgreens Boots Alliance. He has a net worth of $10.3 billion. Massimiliano Landini Aliotti is Italy's fourth richest billionaire. In 2014, Massimiliano Landini Aliotti and her three children inherited the pharmaceutical company Menarini from her late husband, Alberto Aliotti, who died in a motorcycle accident. Alberto transformed Menarini into one of Italy's leading pharmaceutical companies with 16 manufacturing facilities located around the world and more than 17,000 employees in total. After starting his career at Menarini in 1964, Alberto Aliotti purchased the company from its original owners in the early 1990s. After stepping down as chairman in 2011, Aliotti handed over the reins to his daughter Lucia, who served as chairman, and his son Alberto Giovanni, who served as vice chairman. The family-owned corporation generates annual revenues of over $4 billion. She has a net worth of $9.6 billion. The fifth richest billionaire of Italy is Silvio Berlusconi. The late 1970s marked the beginning of Silvio Berlusconi's transformation of the media group Fininvest into a national force which included the importation of American television shows such as Baywatch to Italy. When he began his political career in the 1990s, he was the first elected prime minister of Italy in 1994. 
In 2015, he was found guilty of bribing a former senator. Having been convicted of tax fraud in 2014, the three-time prime minister was initially barred from running for public office until 2019. In May 2018, an Italian court overturned the ban and Berlusconi was elected to the European Parliament the following year. His fortune, which he divides among five children, consists of investments in media, publishing, and banking companies. He has a net worth of $7.8 billion. The sixth richest billionaire of Italy is Giorgio Armani. Giorgio Armani is regarded as a living legend in the fashion industry, having introduced a softened, minimalist aesthetic to high-end menswear. To complete his military service, Armani dropped out of medical school. He then found work at the Milan department store La Renascente, where he worked as a buyer and a window dresser. He left the design clothes for Nino Ceruti, and with the help of his business partner, Sergio Galliotti, he eventually launched his clothing line in the mid-1970s, which became successful. In 1980, he was hired to design the wardrobe for actor Richard Gere's performance in the blockbuster film American Gigolo, which caused his business to search. The company has grown to include accessories, perfumes, makeup, and sportswear, as well as interior design, real estate, and the management of hotels and restaurants. He has a net worth of $6.6 .6 billion. The seventh richest billionaire of Italy is Giuseppe Delonghi. Giuseppe De Longhi is the chairman of De Longhi SPA, a company that manufactures high-end coffee makers and espresso machines, among other things. Fabio, Giuseppe's son, serves as the company's CEO. The company generates over $2 billion in annual revenue and sells its products in more than 100 countries. The company was founded in Treviso, Italy in 1902 as a small industrial manufacturing workshop with a few employees. It is still headquartered in Treviso more than a century after its founding. The company manufactures portable heaters, air conditioners, food preparation appliances, cleaning tools, and coffee machines, among other things. Del Clima, an Italian industrial heating company, was acquired by Mitsubishi Electric in 2015 for $551 million from DeLonghi, who retained a minority stake in the company. He has a net worth of $5.2 billion. The eighth richest Italian billionaire is Patricio Bertelli. Patricio Bertelli and his wife, Miusha Prada, are co-CEOs of the Prada Handbag and Fashion Empire, which was founded in 1913 by Patricio Bertelli's grandfather, who is also co-CEO. He met Miusha in 1977, the same year that she and her siblings, Alberto and Marina, inherited the company from their father. Patricio, who is at the time was the owner of a luxury leather company, joined Prada a year later. Prada's product offerings were expanded beyond high-end luggage, handbags, and steamer trunks as a result of his efforts to concentrate on the business side of the company. Bertelli and Prada took the company public in Hong Kong where it has remained ever since. His net worth is estimated to be $5 billion. Italy's ninth richest billionaire is Miusha Prada. Miusha Prada is an Italian fashion designer and businesswoman who has a net worth of billions. In addition to being the head designer at Prada, she is also the founder of the company's subsidiary, Miu Miu. Miusha Prada, the youngest granddaughter of Mario Prada, assumed control of the family-owned luxury goods manufacturer in 1978 when her grandfather died. Since then, the company has acquired fashion brands such as Jill Sander and Helmut Lang, as well as shoemaker Church & Co. The year 1985 marked the year that Prada introduced its first successful handbag design. As the sole creative director of the brand, Prada presented her final collection in 2020, which was unveiled in a series of short films directed by artists such as Martin Sims and Horrigan Teller to raise awareness of the COVID-19 pandemic and raise funds for research and treatment. She runs the business with her husband and co-CEO, fellow billionaire Patricio Bertelli. Her net worth is estimated to be $5 billion. And number 10, Italy's 10th richest billionaires are Augusto and Giorgio Perfetti. Perfetti Van Mel, owned by brothers Augusto and Giorgio, is the world's largest candy and gum company. 
Mentos and Airheads are two of the company's best-selling brands according to overall sales. Van Mel, based in the Netherlands, was acquired by the Perfettis in 2001. Five years later, they acquired the Spanish candy company Chupa Chups. In 1946, their father Ambrogio and uncle Egidio established a chewing gum business in a small town near Milan, which grew up to become this successful company. The brothers who are wary of the media now reside in Switzerland and are no longer involved in the business. Their net worth is estimated to be $4.5 billion. Hope you had fun learning about the luxury lifestyle that goes around the world. If you want to stay updated with the latest news in luxury living, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you for being with us.